guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 10 of Smile Down the Runway, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. So excited, it's gonna be so fun. Of course. She made it, thank God. With her hair like that, she kind of looks like Anna Wintour.
Ready then. You're already here, might as well. <laughs> it's kind of messed up how they're the only ones standing up. And everyone else is sitting. Of course. And there's a lot more pressure on him than everyone else. You were about to reach out, but you were trying. Maybe he'll just think he's my other yet. You're just done. I, I get, everyone's like that. I get that though. It's pretty.
Hmm, back just in time. Gonna make me cry.
Muy cómodos. Could be something from Paris. See, now the question is because of the fact is we, we got three minutes. I don't think they're going to show Kokoro's um, fashion show. I think they're going to wait until next week. But, like, honestly, they look really good. I feel like. Mm -hmm.
my god. He's beautiful. I have no words, like, oh my god. But it was beautiful. That's all. It was beautiful as hell. I love how he did it, what he did with it, and made it unique. I mean, Kaoru's was really, really good. I do love the fact that she made leather kimonos and brought that in because I would have never thought like leather and a kimono could work together, but she made it happen. But now, especially with Toll, I'm excited to see his. And especially Kokoro's and how whatever they've incorporated for Wa. I love the fact that Ito, Ito used unisex and made it not only for men, but for women as well. It looked so good. Like, oh my god. The show is so underrated. Oh my god. I got goosebumps during this episode. I was like, you know how you're just on the edge of your seat and you're wondering what the heck could possibly happen next? It was just like that. And I'm just so happy and proud of him. Because it just, he did it on his own. It would have been nice to have Chi Yuki in his show, but things happen and I know that she's going to use Kokoro. And it's going to be great. We're gonna, we're gonna see next week. With only two episodes left, honestly, like I really think they're either going to show both Kokoro's and Toll's fashion shows next week, or they're just going to focus on Kokoro's. And then maybe in the last episode, like maybe the first 5, 10, 15 minutes, we'll see Toll's. But I kind of wish that, like, if it's going to go the way I think it is, just put both of them together so that we can find out who won. And then whatever episode 12 could be about, it could literally be about anything. But because of the fact is, we only really have two weeks left with this show before the show is over. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I still, like, I remember comparing this to Welcome to the Ballroom. Like, I was thinking, oh, my God, we're going to get 24 episodes of this. And then finding out that we were only going to get 12. It, it's a little upsetting because you feel like there's more to the story. And like I said, with two episodes left, it's like, depending on what chapter they're in right now for the manga, how are you able to fit in everything clearly, you know, to not make it either drawn out too slow or too fast and stuff like, cause sometimes when it's a chapter that is a couple of pages long or a couple of chapters, like three to five, and you're trying to squish in everything into one episode, sometimes the little, the pacing of the show goes a little too fast and I don't want that for the show. The pacing of the show has been excellent. It's not too fast and it's not too slow, but it's still like, hold, hold your hand ever since the beginning of the series but I feel like with these next two episodes and with this fashion show coming up they're gonna just like breeze by it. I want to take the time just how they did with both Kaoru and Ito to show not really every single outfit. It was more of Ito they showed every single outfit but for Kaoru, especially like when To if To goes up after Kokoro, um, just to go in and out, show me like two or three outfits. While the biggest thing is Chiyuki is going to be the one who's going to shine next week, and it's going to be really good. Same thing with Kokoro, but the biggest thing is, is it going to be for the positives or is it going to be for the negatives? The girl who literally saw Chiyuki um, in the fashion show for What's His Face the first time, she's there, so is her boss and a couple other people who they've met during this 11 episode span going on to, I'm not 11, 10 episode span going on to 11. So I'm hoping, like I said, positive things do come next week, but honestly, we're not really going to know until next Friday. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 10 of Smile Down the Runway. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Friday for episode 11. Bye, guys.